Hi, so I was recently asked if it's possible for Wright Booth to take three photos of the same person standing in front of a backdrop and then have the three photos merged together into a single photo like you're seeing here. And the answer is yes. So this video will explain the process and how you can go about doing it. So let's have a look at what you need. So what we're looking at here really is something like this where you buy yourself a backdrop and there's plenty available if you look on Amazon you can get things like this and then what you do is you get the camera your camera to focus on part of this backdrop so something like this and then what you do you have a photo capture event which is set up to take three photos and you can do that in here in the designer and as you can see I've set it up to take three photos so in the process you're going to have the start screen a countdown screen you get the user to stand to one side of the photo area like this and it will capture the first photo with the user on the left hand side of the backdrop. You then get the user to stand in the middle for the next photo and the next photo is captured like that and then you ask the user for the third photo to stand to the right hand side and the third photo is captured like that. So you can see that the three photos are captured so let's just go back here. So basically what would happen is you would say, right, come stand here. Then right booth takes the first photo and shows that first photo to the user. You then get the user to go and stand in the middle. And right booth takes the second photo. And then finally you get the user to stand on the right hand side and right booth takes the third photo. And the end result is that you show a photo to the user that way. In other words, Wright Booth creates this single photo. Now the question is, how does Wright Booth do that and how can you design your event to allow that to happen? Well, the way it happens is on the print layout screen. Now, by including the print layout screen, it doesn't mean you have to print anything. But when the print layout screen is included, it allows you to merge the three photos together into a single photo. So let me just show you where that happens in terms of including printing. If you go into the designer and look in event structure, print photos. Now you can see I've not chosen to print any photos, but what I have done is chosen to save the print layout as an image file. So that's the point where right booth will include the print layout screen and at the end of the process for each user right booth will generate this composite image but before i go on to the print layout screen i'm going to show you the actual process that right booth will go through and i'm going to show you by example and take the three example photos that i've got in this uh, training video so these are the three photos that have been taken Now the idea is that you want to take the left hand edge of this photo, the middle part of this photo and the right hand edge of this photo. So a third of this one, a third of this one and the middle third of this one. Now how can you do that? Well, what you first of all need to do is to make sure that this photo is behind the other two. And as you can see, it's in front of this photo and it's behind this photo. So the way to get this to the back is to just click this button here, which is to move it backward. And as you can see now, this photo is behind the other two. So that's the first thing. The next thing you need to do is to take this photo, number one, look at its properties, set the property to be crop, 
and choose to crop the right hand edge away. So let's go for right here. Now, as you can see, right has removed the right hand side of this photo, but that's not enough. It's taken 50% away, which is half. We want to take away more than that. We need to take away 66%. And as you can see, it's left 33% of photo one visible. And that's a third. Now on the third photo, we want to again apply a crop, which is here. We want to crop the left hand edge. So we're getting rid of the left hand edge of this photo. And again, we want to take 66% of it away. So as you can see, photo number one, we've got the left hand side of it. Photo number two, we have all of it. And photo number three, we have the right hand side of it. Now, the only thing we have to do now is to align them all up. So I can put this one here, this one, this one here, and then I can select all the way around them and make them bigger. Now, to be absolutely accurate about this, what you really want to do is to select them all. So I'm just dragging a rectangle around them all. Look at properties and set them all to be in the same position and at the same width and height. So I'm going to go zero, zero, that puts them up there. I'm going to make this 800 and this 600. So that's a four to three aspect ratio. So now all three photos are perfectly aligned. You could then choose to make a group out of them. Right click, group the items. So now they all act as one. So they're basically stacked on top of each other and they're perfectly aligned and the same size. So that's the process in terms of creating three photos that merge together into one. But here's the thing, you have to do it on the print layout screen. So let's repeat what I've just done on the print layout screen. Now on the print layout screen, we've got the three placeholders. So again, what we do is we take this one, make sure it's at the back, and there it is. We take the first photo, set the properties, crop, and set it to cropping the right hand edge at 66%. Photo number three, we set that to crop. We set it to the left hand edge and we set it to 66. And then we finally put them on top of each other, roughly. Select them all, look at properties, make this 0, 0, 800, 600. So we now have them exactly the same size and position. Drag them out so that they fill the print layout screen. I'll just zoom this out a little bit. If they don't quite fit the layout, you can always turn on stretch and just stretch them out slightly. So just get the photos to be filling the template. And there we have it. So now what you will find is that Right Booth will take the three photos, number one, number two, and number three. It will then use the print layout screen to automatically generate a fourth photo, which is a composite like this. And that photo will be saved along with the three individual photos. So I hope that explains it all. If you have any questions, obviously post them on the forum or send me an email. And uh, thanks for watching.